Hi guys, my name is Olawi. So we want to continue from where we stopped. In the last lecture, we talked about manage academics, where we explain inquiry category, list inquiries, school clubs, manage circular syllables and manage event so right now we want to talk about manage employees and the first thing that we are going to talk about under manage employees is department of course you need to put your staff into a department for example teaching staff and non-teaching staff all right so for example if i delete this pre-added information all right so let's say that we have teaching staff all right and let's say designation you know I just put something there maybe you know years just put something all right so let's say Lagos you can add as many designation as you want now I'm going to click on add department have you seen it so we have teaching staff designation okay this is what we type the number of employees assigned to this department of course we have zero you can also edit the department and the designation all together all right so you can add as many departments as you want so I'm going to type non-teaching staff okay so let's just say you know click on add department have you seen it so the next one let's add teachers all right of course you know teacher can be categorized under teaching staff all right at times goes on we are still going to create accountant human resources for this software but for now is a starting point okay so this is a teacher existing teacher I'm going to delete that guy all right so click on this option add new teachers here click on it it's gonna give you a drop down all right we have the form the form is much so I am not going to really add the teacher okay let's add it so let's say new teacher so you have to select the role are you adding class teacher or subject teacher okay it depends you know select the batch there select the gender you no know, blood group you can select the address you know select some phone numbers so let's say teacher at teacher.com PhD you know married Facebook you know you can just put something there this is not available all right so let's come back to this path let's choose a password you know I am chosen this password and of course you can browse for the image so let's pick something you know I want to pick this ghost theme and the department you know we have teaching staff and non teaching staff so I'm going to select teaching staff of course it's going to load you know the designation on that teaching staff department for us so we should have us in legal so i'm going to pick this guy then the date of joining the company the joining salary you know of course the teacher is active you can also make it inactive here so a date of joining and the account or the name maybe you know just put some things there you know when you want to pay that you know teacher all right so this is a document in case you want to upload the teacher savory you know if I click here let's go to document you know let's pick some things there you know click on add teacher all right beautiful have you seen it the picture is there the name the the, the role of the teacher email gender address you can you know edit the teacher okay and also you know you can download the document have you seen it so you can also delete the 
teacher here. Okay, so that is about the managed employees. Don't forget that we are, of course, going to have more, you know, staff like accountant, like, you know, hostel manager, like Barian and other interesting, you know, users okay but for now we have the teachers available for the open source okay so in the next tutorial we are going to talk about the manic student of course we are going to explain so many things under managed students so thank you see you in the next tutorial bye